I have you have exponential equation. 222 is for a 3x plus 222 is for x is equals to 222. Now in the first cell, I'm going to use the exponential rule that is a raised to power n n that we can write in this form. So by using this exponential rule, I'm going to write the next expression that uh, will turn to Now here I'm going to let y is equals to two raised to power y is equals to two hundred and twenty two raised to power x. Now I'm going to plug in this y in the placement of two hundred and twenty two raised to power x. So we got y is to power three plus y. Is equals to 222. We got the cubic equation. And on the next step, I'm going to take this 222 to the left hand side. So this equation turns to. Now I'm going to factorize this equation. Mm -hmm. Factor of two hundred and twenty two and three plus two. So here I'm going to take the factor of two hundred and twenty two that is six thirty seven times. Now I'm going to write this y. Now I'm going to write in replacement of y, y is for 3 plus 37y minus 36y minus 637 Now here again, I'm going to take this y cube to the odd number.
Now from here, I'm going to write 37y plus 36y in place of like this y. So our next question turns to Okay, I'm going to rearrange this equation. I'm going to take out the factor. Now, in the placement of this expression, I can write this y plus 6. Now, I'm going to the algebraic identity a square, and then b square is equal to a plus b and a minus b. So, our next question comes to. Now I'm going to take out the factor again, that is y minus 6 is common in both the terms. So y minus 6 bracket y, y minus 6 plus 37, this already included the column, is equal to 0. So here is y minus 6. I can write this in this form because since the product is zero, you can write it. Um, here, this will be that multiply zero y square minus six y plus thirty seven is equal to zero. So this y we got the value that is six. Now I'm going to. So I'm going to recall our expression that is y is equals to 322 raised to the power x. So here we find the value of y that is 6 is equals to 2 raised to the power 222 raised to the power x. So
from here, I'm going to apply the lock with the side. And now, our next station is lock six. And now, our next station is log of six. Yeah, that's the thing we're going to do. X log of 322. Now, this log is going to be divided to the other side. So, we have log 6 over log 222. I'm going to apply the log rule that is log A over log B is equals to log base B of A. So this equation turns to log. Two hundred and twenty-three of six. Now here, this log b of a turns. I'm going to turn. Now here, I'm going to apply one more log rule. Now here, I'm going to apply one more log log rule that there is one over. Log this base become the here the base according to this rule this base become the number and number become the base so our base is b so it becomes member of that log and it becomes now, from here, I'm going to apply one more log to log base B of A is equals to one over log base A of B. So, in this way, I'm going to write this equation. So, I got log By using this log rule, I'm going to write this equation 1 over base, 1 over log base one over log base of 6 of 222. So this, so this is our final answer. We can plug in the value of log 6 and log 222. So we can find out the value that is approximately 12.33161. So thank you for watching my video. If you do not subscribe to my channel, please do subscribe to my channel.